right, everybody. It's a beautiful night to save lives. Let's have some fun. I know that every collector can relate to this at some point. You go online, you look at a figure, it's not in stock when you can afford it, and then once it gets back in stock, you can't afford it anymore. That is relatable! What am I talking about? Well, that's my creation's Nemo motif did the exact thing for me. Yes, I said mastermind creations, which means we're officially going into third party territory! Now a lot of people have been asking me why I picked this figure up. Well, it's not my first third party figure, but it is my most anticipated to buy. And to be honest with you, besides Nightbeat, Chrome Dome's my favorite Headmaster character, and I really do not think he's got an official good representation of the IDW form yet. Not now, Fun Club. Soon. Not now, but soon. I'm gonna go ahead and get Motif out of the way and talk about Nemo first. I mean, this car mode is awesome. I mean, it's actually considered a racer pod according to the box, but this thing looks absolutely amazing. It's a nice representation of his IDW form, and this thing just looks sleek. It looks quick. Honestly, it's something I would pick to race around in in Tron. It's giving me that vibe. And considering he helps prowl out, that's probably why he has such a quick looking vehicle mode. And yes, for those of you don't, who don't know, Chrome Dome's also a cop. Alongside Prowl, they work on several investigations together. Maybe one day we'll look at this guy too. But yes, he's got very, very nice colors with the red, the tans, and the browns. And it's all brought out really nicely by all this panel lining detail down the side. And he's got those little vents there by the wheel as if to say there's air going through to spin his wheels to make them go even faster. And as we look at the wheels back here, I I can't help but get a Tron vibe from them. I mean, it's absolutely great. They look awesome. And now for the unfortunate part. This mold cannot roll worth a shit. Seriously, no matter how hard I try, I cannot get this thing to roll across my review table. I mean, it's definitely because of how the wheels are designed. I mean, if you look, the spinning part is within the wheel itself. But hey, the fronts spin pretty well, so I guess that's a plus for it. But man, those back ones do not let it roll very well at all. Yeah, this is definitely one of those third-party modes that are more for looks than rolling, which is okay. I mean, they're adult collectibles. You're not meant to be rolling them around for like a Hot Wheels car. I mean, that's what Hasbro's for. You're driving along, and all of a sudden the kids are yelling from the back seat. I gotta go to the bathroom, Daddy. Not now, damn it. Truck tire. I can't stop! Oh, ah, help! There's a cliff! Ah, and your family's screaming, Oh my God, we're burning alive! No, I can't feel my legs! In comes a meat wagon! Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. And the medic gets out and says, Oh my God! New guy's in the corner puking his guts out. <laughs> And that is exactly why the box says 16 plus. But as we go to the front of the figure, you'll notice that he's got these nice fenders type things on the front here, and you can actually adjust them. Not that you'd want to, I mean, as you fold it forward, it starts to look more and more stupid. So I tend to just leave that back there. Now this is the only disappointing thing on this figure. I mean, it turns to the side, the wheels do anyway, and the thing is, they could turn the normal way if they had just put one more hinge on where the ankle goes during transformation. And I think that's totally wasted potential. We were so fucking close to greatness, Mastermind Creation. So close. All right, we've got to look at Motif slash Rewind now. And, oh my God. It's supposed to be a data slug. A data slug. He's supposed to be a data slug. Seriously, I don't understand why they couldn't just make him a tank or maybe a cassette tape. I don't know. I'm not really 
It's kind of hazy on me where he stood in terms of vehicle mode and IDW. It's been a long time since I've read it, but this is a little bit odd. I mean, it, it's clean, I guess, but this is not why people buy this. They buy it for Chrome Dome, and they use him as an accessory. But at the end of the day, if you want vehicle modes, this is the main reason you want this set. I mean, this vehicle mode for Chrome Dome is so cool, and it's very, very accurate to the source material. Just don't try to roll it. Transformation for both of them is actually really, really fun. I, For the few days I've had them both, I just keep finding myself flipping them back and forth all the time when I pick them up. I mean, it's really nice. And the robot modes, both are a great payoff for a great transformation. I mean, Rewind is good, but Chrome Dome really is the big show here. I mean, as you can see, he's got the wheels on the side of his shoulders really make the figure of him. And the head, oh, the head looks so nice. And he's got those super long and lanky arms, and honestly, they really suit him. His proportions are honestly really nice. Long, lanky, and he's got those big wheels on the shoulders that just make sense to me. What exactly is now, I've been talking a lot about the wheel shoulders, and one thing you might notice is the one on the left is good, but the one on the right is a little bit messed up. Yeah, out of the package after I started messing with him for a little bit, this one just got loose on me, and I'm not really sure why. I don't know how to fix it, but if you guys know, leave leave something in the comments to let me know, because I would really like to fix that and make it tight again. But other than that, this robot is really, really solid, and I'm very happy with it. Now, moving right along to Rewind, yes, you can definitely see that this is the mode that they focused on when making this figure. I mean, his proportions are just right, and his articulation is great. His colors are really nice looking with the paint and the plastic. And he's just really cute looking, honestly. Which brings me to my next point. These two are a couple. Ha! Gay! So yeah, that's a thing. And it's kind of cool that you can have that going on. And of course, this was an integral part of their story in the IDW comics. I'm not going to spoil too much of it, but basically, they form a really heavy bond, and then something or other happens, but it ends up working out in the end. But them being together has nothing to do with why this set is so cool. The true reason is those accessories. Unfortunately, they're all chrome domes, except for one, which they share. As you've seen for most of the video, he starts with these hands in the box that open and close, and then you can equip these really, really nice hands that have the needles for his neurosurgery. Which is why I made the Derek Shepard from Grey's Anatomy reference at the beginning of the video. Yeah, well at least Chrome Dome didn't die like a total punk in the show. Yeah, a lot of people still haven't recovered from that. Sorry. But along with that, you can also get a different head that has a little comlink and satellite on it, and that's really cool. It kind of looks like he's communicating with something. I'm not actually entirely sure that I remember what this was directly for, but it does look like a comlink because he got like a little satellite thing and such on there. And lastly, it's the hand holding hands, which is unpainted. So it's kind of hard to determine which hand is which. But oh well, pitter patter. So what you want to do, of course, is first off, take off his right hand and then just put the bigger fist in there, of course, because it's obviously his hand. And then what you want to do is take Rewind's left hand and detach that from there and then just plug him on into the other ball joint that you see. It's really rather simple and it's a really, really nice gimmick if you can get it to position right and get them pose correctly. So there you go. You got two gay robots holding hands. Yay! I have nothing against the gays! I love the gays! 
Pause! But yeah, it's a nice feature. It works like it should. I can't complain. Now seems like a good time as any to do articulation. So, I mean, his head, as you've probably already seen, has a ball joint. Goes all the way around, up and down, whatever you need. And then his uh, shoulder has an outward movement as well as a complete 360 movement. I guess you call it 360, or yeah. And then uh, he's got a nice, nice elbow that goes way, way more than 90 degrees. Um, you go down here, you got a, you got this here, and you got a bicep swivel as well. And then you've got a wrist swivel on a ball joint. And then depending on which hand you have in, he's got a art, individual articulated pointer finger, and then the rest of them are just on a hinge as well. So that's really nice. And then you get down here to the legs, this thing can move around, as well as a great spread all the way out. And then he's got a kick forward and a kick back, and he's got a really nice knee. And then also, you have this ankle play right here, and he can go a little bit inward like that, as I showed you in vehicle. And then he's got some toe work, you just have to kind of pose that how you can to get him to stand. Or, if you're feeling saucy, I might add, you can give him the side swipe, movie side swipe, wheel leg thing, and, yeah, he won't stand, but, hey, it's still cool that you can do that. I mean, he could just be racing to the, racing to the hospital, I don't know, um, kind of like that, I don't know, it, it just, it's just really up to anything. Um, in terms of rewind, we get this other hand out. Um, with his hands, it's it's close to the same that uh, Chrome Dome had. Um, ball joint on the head, the same. Uh, his shoulder pads move around, and then he's got some like kind of butterfly flap in motion there. And then arms are completely universal; you can go outward and all the way around. And then he's got a nice elbow, just like Chrome Dome. And his wrist move at a ball joint. And then he's got good kicks, good spreads good knees and his feet are die cast and he has good toe bend. So both of these figures, very, very dynamic poses. Oh, and he's got an ab crunch and a waist swivel, which Chrome Dome does have a waist swivel as well. I forgot to add, but these are both very nice and very dynamic figures. So really it's all about how you pose them. I mean, these figures look great no matter how they're standing i mean if you slightly position them in any way they're going to look great together or with any other figures in general and with that being said let's go ahead and get some size comparisons and see how they compare with other figures here they are with legacy skyquake revenge of the fallen bludgeon another third party figure i own mastermind creations optus pro minion legacy road hauler and masterpiece cordon to conclude, these figures are a lot of fun and I could recommend them to just about anybody. They fit in really well with every line and they're just fun figures to have around. Honestly, go pick these things up. They're really cool. As always guys, I've been Treebot Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you like the video, like, subscribe, share it around with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Keep growing your collections. Oh, <laughs>